Airship. I don't care if she's the Queen of Harland. Would the pharaohs of Egypt have been able to stand at the top of their pyramids if the Israelites had not made their bricks? <laughs> Would the captains of Welcome to Fink Industries Recruitment. We are not looking for any help. You hear that? No. How are we going to get into Finkton? Illegally. Let's look for another way in. Can you open this, Elizabeth? It's done. Over there, the service elevator. We should take us down to Finkton. And get ourselves killed in the bargain. Open this. Ah, oh, this won't take long at all. Ready. The gunsmith Chen Lin wanted for known connections to the outlaw Daisy. Looks like that guy's drawn attention. No. Need money? Take it. That'll do.
Booker. It's Slate's locker. It's my mother's diary. Why would Slate have it? My husband claims the child was created from whole cloth. Divine will. I am a believer, but I am not a fool. His bastard shall not be raised under this roof. My mother. She had me locked in that tower. Elizabeth. I just want to die. Please. I hold in my hand the private journal of Comstock's wife. It puts the lie to this miracle child nonsense. She loved the child. Really? My name is Jeremiah Fitford, and I want to share with you my personal creed. What is the most admirable creature on God's green earth? Why, it's the bee! Have you ever seen a bee on vacation? Have you ever seen a bee take a sick day? Well, my friends, the answer is no. So I say, be the bee! Be the bee! Uh, hello? Mr. DeWitt? Uh, yes? Hold for Mr. Fink, please. What's going on? DeWitt, Fink here. Listen, my boy, we've had our eye on you, and I can tell you right now that you are our top candidate. Now, uh, my associate, Mr. Flambeau, will help you with anything you need. <laughs> what the hell was that? I have no idea. He seems oddly pleased to make your acquaintance. Well, the man's got an ego. of supplies here that should see you through your visit. What does Mr. Fink want with us? Excuse me, miss, but Mr. Fink's interest is strictly in the gentleman. But why... So sorry, young miss, but any questions regarding the gentleman's application should be taken up with Mr. Fink directly. Fifteen minutes now, bid fourteen. We give me fourteen. Ten, ten minutes bid, not ten. We give me nine. Nine, nine minutes nine. bid, not nine. We give me eight. Nine minutes bid. Eight. Eight minutes bid, now eight. Seven and a half. Seven and a half. Six minutes and five. Six minutes and five. Here it is. Chen Lin. Gunsmith. I have a pressing need to speak to this so-called false shepherd, stirring up so much trouble. We got enough problems without this damn fool shooting up the city and blaming it all on the Vox. So if he's amiable, yeah, yeah, he might be just the fellow we need for our immediate concerns.
Buddha. Who? The founder of Buddhism. Spent 49 days under a boat until he achieved enlightenment. Something tells me Comstock doesn't cater to idols getting worship that ain't him. Hello? Hello? Mr. Lin? Chen Lin? Is anybody here? What happened? Someone worked this place over. Local constabulary, no doubt. Do you hear that? There's someone downstairs. Excuse me. Man, I'm sorry to bother you. I... We're looking for Mr. Lin. Mr. Chen Lin. Booker. Mr. Lin, not here. He... gone. Gone? They take... flying squad. I pray, Gautama Buddha. Pray, give husband back. Give back to Meldin. Where did they take him? Club. Everyone take to good time club. Where is this club? Ma'am, please, where, where is this club? Booker, we'll find it. Just leave her be. Why not Vox Populi help Chen Lin? Why not Daisy Fitzroy help Chen Lin? Cops. The kind who probably got their boot on Lin's throat asking him how well he knows Daisy Fitzroy. Isn't she the one we're working for? As a matter of fact, it is. Let's figure out where this good time club is. See how I might have changed your sense of that. Job's a job. side and find Mr. Lin.
Find Shen Lin and get the hell out of here. Down now! All I ask is that you finish what you started to it. Wouldn't want to disappoint the other applicants. Our first candidate is a veteran of Peking. Now, oh, what's that they say about old soldiers? <laughs> Frankly, my money's on you. He's something of an old hand at handling explosives. Only man I know who hasn't <laughs> lost a limb working with them. <laughs> Yet. Booker Fireman! No! No! <laughs> <laughs> Perfect timing. No! 
Appreciate it. Oh. 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 Not interested in your job, Fink. Now, now, I know all about your little job for Fitzroy. But do you really want to take her offer over mine? Do you know how many people would kill to be head of Fink Security? <laughs> You're a tough nut to crack, Mr. DeWitt. A tough nut. <laughs> but I promise you this. I will get what I want. There's a door over there. I think that's the way down. I had thought you a fool, dear brother. When you told me that you heard wonderful music trumpeting from holes in the thin air, I began to doubt your mental integrity. But... Not only have you made your fortune from these doodads, you have lit the path for me as well. Cell number nine. Hmm. It's locked. What's I used to work for folks like Fink. Really? When I was with the Pinkertons. They call us in when the workers got restless. To do what? Demonstrate the folly of men striking, throwing down tools. You hurt people. I'll tell you this. Sometimes there's precious need for folks like Fitzroy. Why? Because of folks like me. Done. What it deciphers. No. Let's keep an eye out. Tell us what you know about Fitzroy, you goddamn gook. Huh. We know you can hear us. You want us to bring in Mrs. Lynn for company? Uh, throw a bucket of ice water on him. We got three more to bring in tonight. Down here. To tax the black more than the white, is that not cruel? To forbid the mixing of the races, is that not cruel? To give the vote to the white man and deny it to the yellow, the black, the red, is that not cruel? But is it not cruel to banish your children from a perfect garden? Or drown your flock under an ocean of water. Snape. He looks. You were right. Sparing him was no mercy. If not the schoolhouse of the Lord. I suppose that was what he wanted. Fancy putting those lock picking skills to work? This is it. Yep. Number nine. 
people have done to deserve to be locked up in a place like this. You're a liar. They don't need much of a reason. But you can't no. blame me for looking after my own interests, can you? Now I know Fitzroy has come calling, but I think you'll find your business with her has come to an end. <laughs> lions walk with lions, do it. Not hyenas. Now we need to find someone else to make those guns. No. Dead is dead, Elizabeth. Dead is dead. What? How the hell did... I see heads. And I see tails. It's all a matter of perspective. Why are you following us? Who sent you? Comstock? What do you want? What do you see here, from this angle? Dead. Listen. And that angle? Alive. Walker. Chen Wen. The body's gone. It's another Columbia. A different Columbia. The same coin. A different perspective. Heads. Tails. Dead. Alive. We have to go through to this other Columbia, but how? It's like riding a bicycle. One never really forgets. One just needs the courage to climb aboard. If we go into this tear, I don't think I'll be able to bring us back. Are you sure you're ready? Okay, open it. There's no blood. And no body. It's another world, Booker. Another Columbia. Something tells me one dead gunsmith ain't the only thing that's changed. how Chen Lin is alive now. We're in a world where he was never murdered. Find out why, I suppose. I don't suspect you can change something like that and have everything else remain the same. I killed them. They were dead. In this world. What is going on here? 